leather jackets and gray bands. They ride on the sidewalk and knock down pedestrians. Don't know why they don't just walk instead. Just a bunch of morons on mopeds. No regard for traffic laws, they always cut me off. And they wonder why I hawk my horn and flip them off. And it's their own fault when they fall on their faces. Makes you wanna kick them in their personal private places. Morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds. You always see them taking terrible falls. Then the idiots go and protest helmet laws. Zipping around on their Honda Sprees. Nothing but Harley Davidson biker wannabes. Running through traffic lights, but they never get pulled over by the cops. It's never surprised when they become a permanent part of the blacktop. As if it wasn't bad enough to leave car dents, I often see them being used as hood ornaments. Morons and mopeds, morons and mopeds, morons and mopeds, morons and mopeds. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rise up and put a stop to these chariots from hell. It's my self-proclaimed duty to become the tipper gore of the anti-morons and mopeds coalition to end coalitions. The new PMRC, Parents Moped Reject Center, is now officially dedicated to save our youth from these vehicles of Satan, the dark lord of the netherworld. Christian parents, I say to you, unless you want your child's arms or legs sticking out the grills of Mack trucks, unless you want your kid to look like the neighbor's cat after he got hit by the snow plow, unless you want your son or daughter to resemble the Jehovah's Witness road pizza outside of the neo-Nazi Friends of Hitler and Elvis Presley commune, stand up with me now. The solution is to give all these chariots of hellfire to all the self-righteous, egotistical, counterculture journalists that never have a positive word to say about anything or anybody except themselves. These are the real enemies of a peaceful society. They and all the Amelie salesmen the world over are the ones who should be sent flying to the medians of hell. Stand up with me now, moped owners, and save yourselves. Uh, my name's Alex, and I'm a moron with a moped. My name is Leroy, and I'm a moron with a moped. Yeah, my name's Jim Bob, and I'm a moron with a moped. Now that you're all saved, fellas, I just want to ask you one question. What's the infatuation? Because it's only 50 cents for the gas. Or do they actually enjoy getting to accidents and having mufflers up their ass? They'll keep wearing those piss wheelies till every bone in their bodies is broke. But I'm gonna laugh when they're lying in the median with their teeth playing Dixie on the spokes. Morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds, morons on mopeds.